Hey guys, if you are watching this, you stumbled upon a get ready with me and I'm going to be doing this bronzy makeup look and answering some questions from my followers that are really funny. Some go a little deeper and if you're interested in watching, continue. If not, bye Felicia. Goodbye. I'm just thinking to myself like what the hell did I just get myself into? Hope you enjoy it. Um, I actually already put on my primer serum which i'm using the elf cosmetics glow up primer serum so good for dry skin actually already put on eyeshadow primer foundation really quick before i get into the questions um i'm gonna be using the true skin hydrating foundation um one of the best foundations i've actually used that is very very affordable just going in with like a beauty blender to kind of really blend that foundation pretty dry so this foundation is actually pretty good so let's get into the very first question what is your zodiac sign and i am actually um a virgo shout out to all my virgos out there i see you i actually have a lot of virgos um in my life actually my mom's a virgo i have like three really good friends actually that are virgos that i grew up with um all i do know is beyonce is a virgo so if i'm anything like beyonce um i'm here for it and i hope that i do get her bank account one day to be honest so i actually just went in with a like two three shades lighter than my complexion um concealer also hydrating um but i actually put it just on a little bit on my forehead down my nose and i actually don't go all the way to um my waterline i kind of go right below and then down. way there's not a ton of like concealer under my eye not a cute look um so i'm just gonna go over with the sponge blend downwards and I'm just really tapping in that concentrated area. Stay there, honey boo boo. Stay where you put the product. I'm going in with the Ciate setting powder. I feel like, I don't even know if you can see that, but it gets the job done and it's just very light. So I'm gonna just go in and set. What is your Enneagram? Enneagram is number three. Um, Really quick before I get into that. Using the Wet n Wild bronzer, it's literally the perfect shade of a bronzer. Not too red, not too light. Like $3. Who doesn't want to save money on a bronzer? I might actually just like pull it in, like snatch it. Yeah, I'm a number three. Um, it's like an achiever. So typically, if I set my mind to something, um, ultimately, I just like get after it and um, I want to achieve um, that just like kind of how I am and I've always been that way if somebody like just wants to tell me so I don't have to like do the work to figure out the depths of what a three is um, message me I'm always so interested in that stuff but I just never take the time to actually like figure out that stuff for myself so the hourglass mood exposure blush color and my just to like not even contour i wouldn't even say i'm contouring my nose because i really don't get the concept of contouring your nose i just understand like light and placement i guess um but I don't know how to like freaking look like you have a nose job, so I'm sorry. I don't know, like some people when they contour their nose, it literally just looks like you have a dirty ass nose with like a bunch of dirt on your nose. The best highlighter. Like I don't care what you have to say. Let me put you guys on to this highlighter. So I'm just gonna do a little bit even have to say anything to be completely honest like you see you see this it's like maybe she's born with it or maybe it's Maybelline 
or Laura Geller, we should say. Um, I'm gonna link everything below. Don't you worry. Is how do you find genuine friends? And have different kind of friendships, to be honest. Like, you're gonna have your ride or die friends that you've been friends with forever, and you'll never not be friends. Um, no matter what um, goes on and you'll have those kind of friends but then you're gonna also have friends that if for like a season of your life and then you're gonna have friends that you're friends with like for a month or like just a short period of time so um, there's something that I read that's like people come into your life for a season reason or lifetime one other thing is so if you're telling yourself it's hard to find genuine friends then you just kind of have to like look in the mirror honestly and ask yourself are you being a genuine friend say about that that's what i'll say about that um and i'm not like no expert or anything like i definitely have had really great friends in my life and be a genuine person and you're gonna attract genuine friends trial and freaking air you grow up and you figure out who your ride or die friends are when the going gets tough. And yeah, see who's like sticking around, you know? When it's not all Instagram worthy moments, see who is really actually there. See who is there. See who's there. Yeah, it's gonna change too within your life. Just like who you're close to and all that. And I think that it's great for the people that just like stick with one friend like their whole entire life and just only have one best friend. But I think that we're always evolving and changing. So who we're like connecting with and everything is gonna change too. And that's okay. Um, yeah, y'all can do it. Y'all can, you guys are good people. You guys are good people. So we can find some friends. I don't know why I just turned like really country right there. Freaking Lincoln will always be in my heart what are your goals or how to set goals so, um is great obviously um i just like jumped into this too sorry i'm using the milani most love mats it's literally the best palette you'll probably ever purchase it's all mats the tone you'll ever need in your life to create any kind of look I typically don't love sparkle in my palettes because I can always use a highlighter or like a pot of glitter to add that like sparkle within my eyeshadow. So I honestly think it's a waste of space because they never have quality freaking sparkle in a palette. Never, never, never. Tasha Denona is like just the G for any kind of eyeshadow. But if you're not down to spend like, like $400 on an eyeshadow palette, then I'm gonna say never. And just went in with the lightest color just to set my base. Went in with the medium brown, like really pretty shade for my crease. And I'm just kind of building up that color, starting from the corner, using circular motions and blending upwards, starting or stopping midpoint with that pigment because you can always add, but it's so hard to take away. So always put most of your product right in that corner and then blend once there's not a ton of product left on the brush i remember those days where my eyeshadow would be like all the way to my eyebrow and that's not cute so knew me in like middle school i remember those days where i literally just wore white eyeshadow like me doing my eyeshadow reminded me of this just wore white eyeshadow pack that sucker on heavy thick layer of white eyeshadow and a little bit of mascara and that was like my look like every single day and the reasoning behind that um was definitely my mom <laughs> she actually gave me my first makeup palette and i will always remember that because i was so Excited to just get some kind of makeup. I honestly don't know if she got it for herself or she got it for me and I just stole it um, I don't know, but anyways, I thought it was for me and um, It was a quad eyeshadow palette it had Like a white color obviously 
and like purples because um, the girl, I guess at Max said that if you have brown eyes, um, purple makes them stand out. So my mom not knowing a ton about makeup was like, cool, like, let's just do this. Um, try to do the purple one time and it freaking was whack. Like I have brown eyes, sure, but they're like really dark. So ain't nothing gonna make these bad boys stand out. So I just go, I would have wanted neutral, but you know. So that is why I use like a crap ton of white eyeshadow. So that's the only color I had, but I was so, so excited to get makeup and just like do my makeup. So that's where it all started. If you think you're done blending with your, even your eyeshadow, like you're not done keep going. I think having like a short-term goal, long-term goal um, is great. I think that setting yourself up for a win um, right away is something that works for me. Not saying that's the end-all be-all, but you know, setting yourself up to actually, yeah, get a win. So get a realistic goal, um, whatever that is for you. Um, and something that's achievable like right away like you want to achieve it tomorrow so something very simple that way it feels good you're more confident to continue to go um, towards that direction because I feel like when people set goals they typically just like go balls to the wall and like try to like do everything at once and that's all good because that's kind of how I am too to be honest but um, it's good to have like um, that momentum so creating a win like right away something you can achieve tomorrow um, towards that goal make it feel good <laughs> and then like build your traction off of that so then like make it a little like harder you know the next day and so on and so on but it is so nice to like write your goals down and look back so take like five minutes and just like sit there and like reflect on like what you want your life to look like let's say in like five years or like a year. Um, Cause then you can go back and be like, dang, I did that, I did it. So many different practical ways on how to do that. Um, set goals and stuff. There's so many books on like how to do that. Um, Atomic Habits is a really good book in order to like gain habits and chase after like what it is that you wanna do. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, that book is bomb. What are my goals though? What are my goals? I'd say, honestly, I'm just having fun creating content right now. I'm gonna like, so my whole goal is just to really build a community within, you know, my expertise, I guess, is like makeup and I genuinely love it. So build a community um, around just empowering other like women, uh, men, um, anybody, you know, like be super inclusive to makeup um, or anything beauty, like skincare, anything. Kind of just share, you know, what I'm passionate about, um, build a community so people can like share their passions with me and make friends make friends i think that's like the funnest thing about this is like i have friends that i talk to on here that are like from other countries and it's so cool what um social media can like do and like how they can just bring like so many people together long-term goal i would love to freaking travel the world and eat all the food um, we actually have an Instagram, live in the A-Life, where we do a lot of different foods that we cook. We genuinely love food. Trevor went to culinary school. Um, I'm the better cook though, out of both of us, me. Um, but yeah, we, we love being in the kitchen. It's just like, it's just fun. Um, but we would love to like travel and eat all the food and, um, be able to, bring it back to our content and, you know, really learn about different cultures and, you know, why it is that they do what they do. Like, you know, every culture has a different way of doing their makeup. Every culture has a different way of um, 
creating dishes to eat or like traditional things. So I'd love to like travel and learn all that stuff. Any trips coming up soon? Any trips coming up soon? So that's another question. Um, yes, we do have one trip or not actually a couple trip. This year is going to be crazy busy for us. Um, so we have one trip coming up in April actually. And we are going to Houston, Texas. And we're really excited about that because we actually do plan on moving to Texas after we get married and purchasing our first home, which is really exciting. Um, so tired of renting, like it's a waste of freaking money. Um, just get so much more for your money than California. We kind of did the like NorCal, SoCal thing. We've seen everything that, you know, California has to offer as far as like purchasing a home. We're just not into it. Not into it. We might come back. Who knows? But um, for now, I think that is definitely our next move. And I'm so freaking excited for it. Um, we're both excited. I'm trying to convince like all our friends and family. Um, I'm sending them like super cute, like unique houses that are like so freaking affordable. You get like mansion for like nothing. And some of them are into it. So I'm excited. Yeah, Texas is going to be that like next chapter in our life. So we're excited to kind of like vlog everything and be able to share that like experience with you guys and like share um, different things in Texas um, with you. Favorite book I read recently. So something I always recommend a book that I actually go back to constantly and I actually just finished reading again is... Um, so Long Insecurity, I think it's by Brene Brown, um, could be wrong, but it just dives into your insecurities, <laughs> hence the title. Um, but yeah, it's a bomb read. I definitely think that everybody should pick that one up. Boy or girl, I think that everybody has insecurities. I don't care who the frick you are. If you're a human on planet Earth, you got those insecurities. It's all good though. I think it just really helps normalize those too. That, you know, you aren't gonna be this like perfect person like you set out to be. And, you know, I was really struggling with like perfectionism and being vulnerable and all of that. Um, and so it was a recommend read for me. Um, and it really was just like one of those kind of books that I'm like, okay, this is a book I need to go back constantly to remind myself like I'm a bad ass B. You kind of just have to check yourself sometimes too and be like where is this coming from and kind of uproot things. Um, so it kind of really helps with deep reflection and stuff too. I think it's a really good read. Really fine pencil and just to find what I already have. I don't like to use a ton of like products on my eyebrows. Um, R.I.P. Sharpie eyebrows, like, no, not into that look. I like doing like hair like strokes in the front because I have eyebrow hair, hair, I have eyebrow hair, but it's so light at the front and then it's like so dark back here. So I have to kind of just like blend it all. Um, that's what I love about makeup too. It's like you don't have any rules. Fun one. Um, have you gone skinny dipping? Skinny dipping. Yeah, it used to be like <laughs> kind of an annual thing. Those of you who went to Lake Francis every year, um, you know what I mean. Um, and it was typically just like a group of like girl friends that I like grew up with that we would do that and it's just like when you're in the middle of a lake literally just in a cabin what else do you do to have fun you know what else do you do we were wild children we made the most of our childhood there's some funny stories but I won't embarrass anybody on here you're welcome 
another question which this was my sister i just know it do you fart you thought i wasn't gonna answer this but here i am answering it i think you know if you're a human on planet earth like again i think you do have insecurities but you also do fart um it's just a human bodily function just like i know why she's asking that too i'm just not that kind of person that just like sits there and like farts up a storm in front of people and so my family always makes fun of me like i've never heard her fart yeah and you're never going to good one good one girl good you think milking nuts is cruel and i also know who this is it's one of my friends so hints inside joke um i'm gonna link a video right here so y'all know what i'm talking about milking a 600 kilogram holstein now that's easy milking a one gram almond that's hard tiny little udders tiny that's a picture of my grandfather in world war ii when he got back from the from the war he started this here nut milkery and I'm third generation nut milker now and I love what I do. There's so much confusion in city folk these days they're talking about nuts don't lactate, nuts don't have nipples. I'll show you a nut nipple. So if you were able to watch that video you know what I'm talking about now. Um, and my answer to that is they look pretty damn happy. I think it's cruel. I think three generations come on they're happy nuts i forget how we were on that topic i think she's the one who showed me that actually she's the weirdo she's the weirdo but yeah i'm gonna go in with this la girl lip liner it's i have zero lips really if you haven't noticed uh so i just find using like a darker lip liner really lining these out Get that cupid's bow. I just press it in, to be honest, so that there's like no harsh lines. We're not trying to look like a chola. I used to be. I, yeah, I didn't used to be a chola. I just like did my makeup like that. So I just want to clarify, clarify that. Lip liner. Mm. And kind of honestly go where I was just lining and yeah go where I was just lining and then bringing it up a little bit kind of using this as like a lipstick if you will it's just like a creamy nude just a little bit it's this is literally just a clear lip gloss she has lips this is real fun. You know, whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life, go balls to the wall and actually do it this year. That a lot of people hold themselves back from the fear of what other people think. And I just encourage those of you who, you know, want to do something and have been holding yourself back, like, just do it. Watch this entire video. You deserve an award.